In this quick video, we're going to look at the black box from 1010 Music and show you how to learn and assign MIDI parameters to an external MIDI controller. The first thing we'll need to do is connect a MIDI controller, preferably one with sliders and knobs like this Novation Launch Key MIDI Mark III. Once connected, we can navigate to some parameters we wish to assign by selecting a pad and then pressing Info. Note, not all parameters can be assigned to MIDI CC. When we switch between the various parameter pages, we can see that some parameters have these spaces or boxes below them. These are the parameters that can be modulated and assigned to an external MIDI device. Select one of these three boxes. This will take us to the modulation source page. Press learn and rotate the knob on the controller you wish to assign the parameter to. You will know it learned the parameter because learn will turn from blue to gray and CC will appear in the box that was selected. Note. Some parameters, such as the filter, have dual functions. When the knob is set to 12 o'clock, the filter is disengaged. Turning the knob counterclockwise engages a low-pass filter. Turning it clockwise from 12 engages a high-pass filter. Note, when in the modulation source page, we can set the amount of control over the parameter that the MIDI controller can apply. By default, this is set to 100%, but you can limit the amount of control by setting it less than 100%. Let's quickly set one more parameter. On the same pad, we can return to the info page and find a parameter we wish to control. Select a box below the parameter, press learn, turn the knob on the controller, and off we go. If we want to unassign the MIDI parameter from the external controller, we can simply return back to the modulation source page and rotate the source knob from CC to none. Bonus, Black Box allows you to set independent MIDI channels for pads and keys. If we go to the Tools page and press MIDI in, we can set different MIDI channels for each, which is convenient when using a MIDI controller with both, like this one. Now we can play these independently. Okay, that's it for this video. Please give a like if you learned something and subscribe for more content like this. Thanks.